Golden Spikers in double digits in their previous matches, which is a good sign here for, for USC. Here comes Andre Delicana. Crucial, especially in a tight game like this. Oa with that serve. Echo going to Campton with a tip. That falls down on the court of NU. That becomes a LaSalle point. And Woods, you know, coming back from an injury that he sustained one week before the, the UAAP. He's doing all good. He's ready to go. Hit. Good idea to go to that far end. Out for in this game, especially because USD has been saying that they want to limit their errors as well here in the semifinals. We heard it from Josh Abanez. Colinares sends it over. Martinez. To Saavedra from the right hand. He ended number one after the Elims in those categories mentioned. Serve coming from Ronquillo over received. Anima takes advantage with the Tegalo. Against a new last game, and this time taking advantage of that big It is a five point advantage here for the white shirts. Choi Biao again and again. That is we have Rainier Floor. On deck to serve. Steady reception. And Drix Saavedra goes cross. 48% efficiency after the preliminaries. And uh, even in the last game, I measure that dip in efficiency. On your screens, we have Sir Miko Halili and Father Rodel Can Sancho, Board of Managing Directors of USD, as well as Mr. Rodrigo M. Roque, President of Season 86. The most efficient spiker we have in the league today. Ooh, nobody there for FEU. Good read by Josh Abanez. Could it do anything about it? Alangan eh. So he just wanted to get a chance to keep it. Diao to serve. Floater picked up by Guerrero. Back. Backline hit coming from Ronquillo. The echo our sentiments on uh, yung ipet sa setting that ni Retamar. Ito naman si Echo at the heart has been no there is no look set. Aringo squeezing it through and we are all tied up at 12. Ducks. We'll go to G-Boy De Vega on that combination play. First sequence. And now it was a very good December six top server of the league. Maglinao targeting Almendras. You know, he looks way lighter now that uh, he doesn't have the captain ball line under him. But on the other side of the court, Buds put in looking very light on that hit. And who else to execute that? But Teng Bugawa and Ebanez answers back. He will find a way over and over again. What's good about Josh Ebanez is that he's not going to be a lot of time. triple block, eh, so... They really closed it out and worked well for NU. Ronquillo. Picked up there by NU. Budin with the answer. Anima converting. It's been such a joy to watch. Just look at how unpredictable some of the plays have been. In those situations, you want to look for the arms first. That's right. And right now, USC with a four-point lead here. Budin will try again. He will be successful. And spikers, because that's the best thing you can do. Bigyan mo sila ng kompiansa and maganda rin yung pasok ng middle blocker in that um, run. FEU, the second best blocking team in the league. 154 kill blocks under their belt. It's gonna be a point here for USC. G Boy De Vega. After that hit from the left pin, triple block was there for FU, but somehow. Side of NU, hence this serve from JM Ronquillo. No green card yet here in the UAP, but glad we have some honesty showing off here. But there, that was an honest point for NU. Very clean point. That's right. And this is the effect, no? When you activate your middles early on, na mo kuwang kuwani diyao si Anima, leaving uh, the open hitter. But they were gonna go to Budin. We know that we mentioned at the top of the coverage, Buds Budin. He did not play in their first two games. 
the charge here for NU, much like what he's doing right now. So we'll take a look at that one-handed set by Reta Mar. Only had six points, so he will play a crucial role in today's game. And as for the Golden Spikers, they did have four players in the double digits. That's yun the good distribution. Right. It really is the early activation of the middles. This is their first season. Top scorer for NU, but he's going to be overpowered by the top scorer for La Salle. Yeah. Third point already. Imagine three of the four points DLSU coming from the team. He really made it off speed. Laging ginagawa ng paraan. 22, 21, NU make that. 23, 21. Squad, they're just having so much fun. Whether it's the uh, players on the court or the players were. Iggy serves. Oa finds Aringo. Already a bad pass, and Josh Aretamar was still able to give him a good set. It's not all about how hard you spike the ball, but also your placement, your tempo. That's going to be a point for Butz Woodin. Drop shots here in the third set. Dina yung mga power hits. And you know, you'll say, ah, panhala tayo game one. Isa na lang kailangan eh. Medyo mahirap talaga coming from the bounce back, you know. That's right. A lot of pressure is also put on the losing team of Game 1 coming into Game 2. But anyway, back to this game. It's a one-point lead for NU. They find G-Boy with a swipe. That sequence. Only one blocker for him versus the players. You know, if we'll put it in modern Gen Z terms, as we recognize this point coming from Leo Aingo, si Eko Adahar. Si OA naman si, ano, si OA naman si, uh,